Hello and welcome to day 15 of the No New November Challenge. Um, this is Emma Um welcome to Creative Clear C channel. Um, yeah, sorry, today, sorry, apologise, this is going to be um, uploaded a little bit later. I'm, I'm doing it a little bit later. This is now kind of evening time, really. Um, apologies for that. I've had a bit of a busy day and it was actually quite nice. Actually. My husband cooked me a really lovely meal. Um, and we've kind of decided to have a, a kind of almost like an inside date um, uh, where he cooked me a steak. We had it by candle like it was really sweet. So I'm filming this a little bit later than normal. Um, got myself a glass of wine here, which I'm finishing off. And I'm just going to quickly go through um, today's challenge. Um, so today is just using scrapbook papers, um, either pattern ones that you don't love and wouldn't normally use or um things that perhaps yeah just general generally things that you're not necessarily that inclined to use normally um so i've got a few of these um i think this is going to be a relatively short video because most of these are plain anyway um i'm unlikely to want to hugely decorate them um too much uh but yes, so I've got a couple of these. These are all coffee dyed mostly. So um, these are some of the A5 sheets that I've um, pulled out of a scrap. But they're a bit thicker than paper, um, but I think that's okay. Um, I've got some, well, these were like old dividers um, that weren't being used anymore. So I've got these. Obviously this one's ruined a little bit, but that doesn't bother me. I'm going to trim that off anyway. Um, and then I've got some of these as well, which I'm probably just going to leave these three plain. But these are like those, what I want to say, children's scrapbook paper. It's a bit kind of almost like got a texture to it, almost like um, uh, it's been recycled, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to fold these ones in half and use these straight away as they are. Um, so there's three of these. can't remember I think these okay I think I have the I've had these in my um work from when I went to college to do a b-teching um art and so they've just kind of sat around since then it's been a long time um so it's nice that they finally get used so I've got those um and I'm gonna fold these as well now I quite like having the um the hole punches on the bottom that doesn't like I said, sorry keep saying it doesn't bother me but it doesn't um and I'm just going to trim off the tab because the tab is going to be at the top uh, I don't want to have too many tabs at the top um I prefer to have them on the sides so I'm going to trim this down so it's not um not along the top Because we're going to be adding our own tabs anyway. I might leave one on there just for thing. And I love how this is like the pan where it's absorbed the um, coffee and tea. Um, so you've got, I think I probably left some tea bags on here. And you've got the original colour peeking through as well, which is quite nice. And then this one. Now this one I'm going to cut a bit shorter because um, I'm going to just get rid of this torn edge and it's just going to trim it down Oops. probably done that a bit screw if really yeah let's try that out a bit Those are some of the pages and let's see these. Now these I'm going to use some washi tape to sellotape together. Um, these, I'm going to put this, I've done two of each page so I'm just going to start off with this one. Match those up. Let's find, what do I want to use on this one? Um, 
Schwimmbad. Use this one, which is a William Morris wide tape. Now, the way I'm going to line this up straight is I'm going to line the pages up with the grid on my mat, more or less. And then when I put this down, I want to aim for it to be. Let's just scooch this along so that the fold is on the main, on the, the chunkier bit. There you go. And then we can just line this up to, hopefully, no, we'll do one at a time. Watch me struggle. Come on. So pull that straight down. Okay. Then line this up. grab that one Could put the same on this one hope everyone is well today um, this evening um, like I said today was really nice we had a bit of a chill out we've done some stuff around the house which is good we've managed to get ourselves good and organized um, and then um, I spent a bit of time, Ooh. two seconds, I spent a bit of time organising my crafts stash a bit, um, trying to make it easier for me to access some things, um, which has been quite nice, um, my husband's, like I said, cooked us a really lovely, we got these steaks and he did some roast potatoes with it. Um, some braised cabbage, really love cabbage, cabbage is my favourite veg. Um, braised cabbage, roast potatoes, we had roast carrots, which was lovely, especially when they, they go kind of almost golden and crispy, like um, sweet, 
way to eat. Mm, all of the stuff it absorbs. There you go. I don't mind that there's a little gap. In fact, it's probably better to leave a little, little tiny little gap um, just because you're going to have to fold it otherwise. Uh, <coughs> so, we've been doing normally we do these um, box meals. Um, from similar to HelloFresh, but there's a company here called Gausto, and um, we really love the food that we get from them. Um, my husband's a fab cook and he actually enjoys cooking, so very fortunate. Um, he does most of the cooking in our house. Um, not that I can't cook, I can cook, and I do enjoy cooking, but he find it's his relax in the evening, so works for me, <laughs> especially when I come back after a long day. I just want to craft <laughs> and he wants to cook so marriage made in heaven here we go so that's that one and then this one I'm going to use a different tape pop this one back I'm going to use this one So tomorrow we will be doing the same sort of thing with recipe pages. Um, it is going to be pretty much a repeat of today's video, just sellotaping pages together, preparing them. Um, somebody today used some piano roll um, on theirs and I really love that idea. I've got some piano roll so I may use, use a bit of piano roll tomorrow in my video. Um, I can't remember the name of the lady now. I'll um mention her in the in the um. Well, maybe she doesn't want mentioning. Oh no, I'll I'll I'll, I'll mention her downstairs down downstairs <laughs> in the comments. Oh dear. Sorry, it's the wine. It's gone to my head. <laughs> no, it's been really, really nice. We um. Where, whenever we go abroad, we like to bring back a bottle of red wine or two. So today we cracked open the bottle which we bought when we went to Israel um, last year, which was really nice. It was a very nice wine. Um, wine was quite cheap actually out there compared to, well, I say cheap. Um, it was cheaper than beer and whatnot. My husband likes um, international beers um so we did come back with one or two but compared to places other places the beer was quite expensive there compared to the wine the wine was really good actually particularly the red really like the red um, most of the um, hotels we stayed in had um some very good wines um so yeah no, it was I recommend recommend israeli wine if you, if you get a chance really nice I can't tell you what type of wine it is. Um, I'm not a kind of a, a, con, um, a specialist of wines. Connoisseur, that's the word. <laughs> really struggling today. these together the ones that I would pop together um, I may very well end up um, changing these orders a little bit but
I'm trying to put everything into more or less the kind of order that I would be putting them in because uh, I will put them in with my um, current um, signatures well, I've got already. I've kind of started working out which ones I want to go in where. Um, so that's, I'll add these in um, and then I'll probably, I, this because my um, cover is already getting quite full. I don't know, I might end up <coughs> having to um, take a few pages out. So, um, decorating wise, you can do whatever you like um, with them. You can paint, you can transfer, you can stencil, you can um, sticker, um, collage, all sorts of things. I mean, I'm going to leave most of these quite plain because a lot of my pages I have already decorated to some extent um, and I do want some space to journal. So I'm going to leave something this I'm going to leave this one, I'm going to decorate this one and I'm probably going to leave this one because I can write on this. I can't write on this so I'm going to decorate this. Um, I, I want to also use some of my tuck spots and pockets and um, so let's use one of the ones I'm going to pull in my tuck spots first. Um, I think so I've got this one which is uses the same as that I think I'm going to glue that on there actually so let's do that I'm starting to put things together now so we've already we've built up quite a um, collection of things and um, we are going to can carry on making a few more of these bits to add in as well but we want to try to start piecing things together um, so I'm just going to start putting a few bits together. I am going to end up having to make quite a few extra um, journaling cards because most of my journaling cards I'm more or less selected on where they're going to go in my um, book. But I will put in there one of my um, toilet roll ones, I'll put that in there. Actually no, that one will go with one of those because it's got the same paper. Let's put this one in. And then I also want to put a taller. Maybe this one. There we go. So those can go in there. And that's one of them done. Right, I'm going to top spots that I got. You don't even have to put them at the bottom, you can put them in the middle. I think I'm going to put this one in the middle, so I'm just going to pull out this. It would be like that. I won't use this one because I've got a plan for this one already, but it kind of gives you an idea of what's going to, what it's there. So I like that side. I'm going to decorate this side. Um, let's pull this one in. I'm going to flip this over to the other side. And I want something to hold this on here. Um, now it is already a, it's a ticket. Oh, I'm sorry, a... Uh, it's a pocket but it's also a tag in its own right um, I 
I think I'm going to make it a tuck spot as well. Now this one, because it's 3D and I'm going to be putting it in, I think I'm just going to paper clip this one in. So I've got some of these really big paper clips um, stuck together. Um, just because I think if I try and glue it, I think it'll just pop off because of the way it, it's 3D. So I'm just going to... says struggling okay get it in like that so it's a tag with some bits inside i've got some space to journal underneath just clipping it in right, right. i'm very um indecisive at the moment oops i think that chocolate does look quite nice could pop that in as a pocket there I think I'm going to pop this in as a pocket as well so um because I'm doing a full-size pocket I want to do all three edges really getting quite a lot because these are our cards rather than fabric sorry fabric rather than these are cards rather than paper so they will have a bit more of a mind to to go where they will um if ideally i would be sewing it but as you know can't sew at the moment there we go i'm going to take those out for the time being Actually, yeah, they'll be alright. Just need to. I'm gonna use some clips to get it to sit where I want it to, because <laughs> it because of it being coffee dyed, it's not wanting to sit right, and then I haven't ironed it. Which would have been perhaps the smart thing to have done, Emma. But oh, so I'll just leave it like that to dry. So that's using up some of these bits. Um, let's pop the tags back together again. And the tags swaps in pocket. create some space to write um something on this so i'm going to think i'm just going to pop a bit of tape, um journal paper down as a begin with This video is not too boring because it is a very much a repeat of what we have already done um, a few times now. Um, and we have got a few more days where we will do it as, as well, so <laughs> we don't get too bored. <coughs> washi tapes to use this time. This is one of those washi tapes which has got like a backing. difficult to separate them sometimes Ooh. 
pretty. So today I'm burning the um, Yankee Candle Jeep, the one which I bought um, from the Wickford company, which is called Wedding Bells. Uh, it smells really nice, obviously. Not for any particular reason other than that. I've bought it not because of any particular reason other than the fact that it smells really nice. black stays on which I always think smells like almonds like cherry bake bakewell tarts plain black that's a good thing do you guys have where where you're from do you guys all have cherry bakewells or is that very much a British thing let me know in the comments below I'm interested to to learn do you have something similar so cherry bakewell here is like um it's almost like a little tart kind of thing um it's got some uh pastry cup which then has um some cherry kind of um uh, like cherry jam on the bottom and then it's got icing um and it's got a very um very almondy tasting to it um, they've got marzipan i think possibly oh, never actually made them um i do i do like them i don't like marzipan normally which is interesting but i do do quite like them so i've got this i think i'm gonna pop that in there all about layering oops I'm really excited that I bought, I ordered something from, um, or some things from a store on Etsy um, a fair while ago now. I think we're probably pushing about three to four months ago and I accidentally put the wrong postcode on it. Um, and I wasn't able to, to catch them before it got hit, um, uh, before it was dispatch from the UK because you can if you, if you put the wrong postcode it, and you you can go and pick it up if you prove um proof of ownership essentially um and <laughs> sadly I didn't quite get there in time before they'd shipped it off to the next available place um uh, basically for reassortment back and it has spent the last three months floating Probably literally, because I imagine they send things back off via slow mail and land um, back to the US. It finally arrived um, with my uh, the, the person I bought it back um, from them. Uh, so it, it finally arrived um, with them. 
um, a few days ago, which is really nice because it means it's now on its way back to me. Um, can't fault them. The store, it's not their fault. It's entirely mine for, for, for not really checking before I... Um, pest pressed order and actually not checking straight away afterwards been a bit more careful about it now <laughs> uh, ripped this in half that's really quite useful Emma Just pop that down and then pair this up okay um but I'm really quite excited that it's on its way back to me now finally um I, did, I had resigned myself to the fact that I wasn't going to get get this particular order. Um, and it was really quite a nice surprise when I said, oh no, it's, on, it's, it's arrived. And I was just like, yes. Yeah. It's arrived and it, we, we can send it back, no problem. Yeah, blue, blue. Very happy. Very happy camper. Me. As a result, I'm just trying to think of... Hmm. I want to start with something on this, but I think I might actually put a little bottle. Oh, that's not going to come off of the backing. Ink. This may go horribly wrong because I've not used a block on it. Ah, well, that's all right. That works. So after this, I'm going to get myself a lovely hot chocolate or a hot cocoa, um, and I'm going to put on some cheesy Christmas movies sit downstairs and fussy cut because my wrist is okay today so um yeah i think i quite like that let's make a quick tag to go in here because we've got a bit of time um let's find what i've got that i don't mind which i think will go okay in there with the, any of these kind of suitable We'll use that one. So I've chosen this one which says coffee on it and I'm not going to do anything bar corners and then stick some um a bit of of a top actually I'll do the top first before I fussy cut. got a clue what um christmas movie i'm gonna watch it'll be a romance of some description there's plenty available at the moment on um uh netflix all as cheesy as the last and terribly done but it doesn't matter it kind of makes me feel happy <laughs> does anybody else like to watch cheesy movies kind of really poorly done ones but just because um, I do. <laughs> Means I, I don't have to entirely focus on it when I'm crafting. When I say crafting, fussy cutting. I like the premium quality coffee um, bit on this. So I'm going to definitely be leaving that on there. I don't I drink a huge amount of coffee myself. A lot of people probably think I'm a heathen, but um, <laughs> more of a tea drinker myself when that comes to things. I really, I do like coffee, don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't drink it day in, day out. It's not a, a requirement for me when I get up in the morning or anything like that. Um, 
Mm. But a tea, a cup of tea. Mm. Can't go wrong with a good cup of British tea. Um, breakfast tea. With milk, no sugar. No sugar. It's funny how it started because actually I, when I was a kid I used to hate tea. And it, apart from when I went to my grandma's because my grandma would make it with tons of sugar. <laughs> And my dad was like, no, don't do that. Don't give her extra sugar. Um, so I used, to, I used to go there and enjoy a sneaky, <laughs> a sneaky cup of tea with my nan, uh, with my grandma. And um, <laughs> always, always, um, uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, This one here as well. Uh, when I went to my grandma's, uh, that kind of started me off on tea, and it took me a while. I think it was when I was at university that I started drinking it without, and now I'm very particular about my tea. I don't. I like milk, but I only like skimmed milk in it. Um, I find full fat milk. Um, I can get away with um, uh, semi skimmed, but I can still taste it. I think with full fat milk it's just a little bit too creamy. I don't mind full fat milk and coffee when I have coffee, but for tea, I just find it a little bit too thick. Um, I, does anybody else find that? Oh, I do. When it's just a little too thick for my taste, so. Skimmed milk. I don't drink a huge amount of it, like I said. Um, wait, no, go back. Um, just finding myself some paper, which is suitable. I think parchment would be okay if I just popped. Mm. It just looks like I need a bigger piece. Oops. No, I'm just going to get um, out. <coughs> some coffee dyed tea dyed paper Ooh, lots of glue so how do you like your teas do you drink tea or do you drink coffee or are you a herbal tea drinker I, I do quite like um, some herbal teas um, I particularly like jasmine tea um, it's not really I don't know if it classes as a herbal tea or not because it's not really it's more of a classic tea I really like that especially um you can get some um I like it when it's fresh um so it's got a bit of been done properly when um from loose rather than a on a tea bag Trim around this. Yes, it's got to be loose from a tea bag, no, not from a tea bag, for jasmine tea. Um, green tea is nice too, chamomile tea is nice too. I do like the fruity ones too, um, particularly ones with ginger. Love ginger, can't get enough of ginger. It is by far my favourite um, spice, I guess you can call it a spice. Um, definitely my fave. Um, and you can, it's so versatile, it can go into a lot of things. Give me a fiery ginger drink. I uh, really like gin, um, uh, fiery ginger. Um, drinks but burns your mouth but so worth it corner rounder okay because these are quite thick now because so i've added loads of layers um yeah that's my favorite drink anyway 
most of the time is actually a ginger drink if I have a choice. Um, when I go places it's usually ginger ale or ginger beer. Um, debating whether I want to put if I do that I'm gonna want to put do I want to... oh this is hard I managed to put it at the top wasn't going to but yeah I think I'm gonna put that on the top yeah. um so that's my evening tonight so I've done this while I edit the video um, to begin with and get it uploading. Um, not that it I shouldn't need too much editing um, today. Most of the editing happens when I get a phone call or something like that halfway through what I'm doing. see this pulling up so I'm just gonna get that corner down check the other corners see how we're doing this is a bit loose up here a bit there I'm gonna need to by the end of this challenge I think I'm gonna need to replace my glue glues <laughs> I'm running out of my art art glitter glue this is this is the one somebody asked me what one I was using and it's this it's by um uh Deco, I want to say, is it Deco? Um, can't remember now. Don't want to say on here. Um, but it's called Art Glitter. Uh, it dries clear is the one you want rather than the one which just says dries white. You don't want that. Um, and it's a permanent water-based non-toxic glue. What I like about it is it doesn't make your paper go all wrinkly. Um, like you get sometimes. Um... With some PVA based glues anyway. There we go, so we have one tag to go inside. There we go. So done pretty well there. We've got quite a few different pages sorted. Um, we've put some, we've used some of our tags up that we've already made. We've designed a uh, kind of collaged a new piece we've made a tag um, and we've used the pockets so let's just use this one for now in here although this is probably too tall for this particular pocket It'd be okay for now and then the last one we got this let's pop this in here now so we've got quite a few pieces using up what we've already done slash some new slash some more new i hope you've enjoyed today um tomorrow we're going to be doing the same sort of thing but with recipe cards um i've got the same ones i use for my pockets um from these are the ones from weight trays um and i've coffee dyed them um and yeah uh, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow so i hope you've enjoyed today i look forward to seeing you soon in our next video have a lovely evening bye now